What's up Tarnish, it's your boy LB, and we're back with another video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about um, another way to level up. And I promised you have this after the Halloween event. I'm sorry that it's taking me so long to make this. Let's get straight into it though. But for people that keep asking me for my build, Time Magic, Dread Scale, Monstrous Reserves. Those are all my stuff. I'm <clears throat> sorry if I sound down a little bit, I'm going to try to amp myself up for this. I'm basically just gonna be walking y'all through it. I'm gonna try to keep this video nice and short. Not gonna make it 20 minutes, 30 minutes long. Just, you know, so especially because I don't edit my videos, so I, I leave them unedited. Unless they got it, unless I feel like I want to edit them. Like if I'm fighting somebody, or if I'm doing like a PvP showcase or something, yeah, there's gonna be a little bit of edits in there, so you can expect me to edit. Um, but yeah, the one thing that I'm giving, I'm gonna give y'all two. Well, I'll give y'all three options, actually. I'll give y'all three options. The first option is, this is for if you're doing it by yourself. If you're if you're on a solo level, it's, it's going to be tedious. It's going to be annoying. But it gives almost the same amount as pumpkins, you know? And that would be the wolf, the wolf hunters. And I know y'all thinking to yourself, yo, bro, why do I have to go back to the wolf hunters and do this? Hold on, let me just quit my spells real quick get this all done with so what i do is i do this first and that and this uh, this i mean i don't really need mana sheep so we're just gonna do burst i'm gonna level up my burst because mana sheep doesn't apply to your staff for everybody that was asking it just increases the staff range and i'll show for you right here uh, you can see how much range i have you get m1 priority i guess i can't i can't shift lock But yeah, and this and this this wand does three damage. So yeah, so the mana sheaf is already is already applied to the the staff. And this is how much damage I'm doing with it. Not gonna lie, like staffs are fake mid. Not gonna cap because like it's so slow. But you do get M1 priority, and as you can see there, I didn't even get touched at all once I started spamming the move. So if you're into stuff like that. You can do that. And then the second way that you can level up, and if you want the quest for that, um, for those bandits right there, it's right up there, and it doesn't require you... I said code required you. It doesn't require you to... My allergies are acting right now. It doesn't require you to have multiple people with you. You can just do this by yourself. You just... You feel me? You just pick it up, then it's going to ask you to kill six of those guys. And it's repeatable. So you could keep repeating this. And then another method that I I found out that was actually pretty good. As I got to like my later levels, like you see how I'm like level 152. I think max level now is 175. So you know, I'll go ahead and level up. I'll, I'll do this later with y'all. Um the the exams. If y'all want to. I'll do it later. But Y'all can do exams. Exams they give a lot, a lot of levels, like a lot. You know, they give a lot, they, they give a decent amount of EXP, so y'all can do that. Um another thing that y'all could do is the Yeti. He said you were supposed to move the Yeti quest down. I don't know if he did though. But those two for sure work. So like I would say do those quests until you're like level I don't know, like a hundred. And then get your rest of your fifty levels doing that. Cause you know, you you, you get the materials that you need like the cape, the the pauldrons, the helmets, and if you if you get blighted or in you you have a chance of getting blighted armor. Blighted armor is actually pretty rare. You know what I'm saying? As you're trying to level up, and then you can go to the ice area and form the yeti. The yeti quest is like all the way in the mountains. Like bro, I don't even want to like I don't even want to do that, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. That's that's a lot of work. I mean, you feel me? I I could do it and just. Yeah, no. I mean, bro, if you if you want, like, a decent amount of XP from just repeating a quest, you could always do the Yetis, but you need people, bro. And those, and the Wolf Hunters is the only way that you can, you know, that's the only quest that you can actually solo in the game and repeatedly do that. You know what I'm saying? You can do it by yourself. The Yetis, you, need, you at least need, like, a full party like you were to do a raid, so. You can do the Yeti quest, and it's located all the way on the top of the mountain. So you gotta climb, it's just, it's just not... You can't fly your broom in there, so it's just it's just a waste of time. So I would just say just do the two. I don't even want to go in there, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you. Tundra's just not it right now. 
So just stay out here, bro, safe, you know, not getting frozen. You could actually see distance, you know? But yeah, leave a like, comment, subscribe, catch on the next video. Hopefully this video was helpful for everybody asking for it. And I'm out. Peace.